Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be the first link in the description down below. I'm going to read that first link in the description down below. Um, you can also find a bunch of other things in the description there. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my Oracle cards and my Tarot cards. My holographic stickers. So this is the mini holographic version of my Oracle cards. And my pins, which are acrylic pins. So we have the Green Man pin, White Raven pin, Serapis Bay pin. All that's in the description down below on my Etsy shop. Um, what did I say? I can't believe I just forgot what I was saying. <laughs> You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here at Leo. So we're going to see what Spirit has in store for you. Alright. Okay, Leo. Oh. We have the Three of Swords wanting to come out, which is kind of, you know, eh, card. Uh, the King of Cups, Two of Swords here. King of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that is involved in this Three of Swords here. What I feel like here, Leo, and this is kind of a reach here, but what I feel like here, looking at your cards, I see that this person, maybe they have done something to you or said something to you that is quite hurtful here, Three of Swords, but it feels like what they have done is coming back around to them. Maybe that of even more here, where it feels like they're not. There's going to be something there blocking them. Sort of blockage that they'd be having here. But it's going to get them really deep in their heart in terms of... I don't know. I just see whatever they may have done to you is being done back to them, but it's going to affect them more. We have a child of wands, judgment, birth, queen of swords, which is Aquarius, knight of wands, so four or five, the devil, three of wands. Yeah, this person could have had some sort of toxic behaviors towards you, but I feel like that I feel like that that's all coming back onto them. This is a judgment being here. Alright. I also see that there could be some births for you in the future, or future children or something like that. We have a child and then we have birth, but either way. Um, a lot of things are growing for you. Aquarius card being there, you could have some Aquarius placements. I don't know if I said that already or not. If I did, I'm sorry. I do apologize. I don't know what's going on with my memory right now. Um, but I feel like this is... I don't know if you asked for this to happen. Like, back to them. Because it feels like that's quite evidently where we have... It feels like strong judgment back onto them where we have, like, this... this there. It's coming back onto them. We have the Four of Cups. Two of Swords. And I see them not really being able to shake it. Nine of Wands tells me that you have a protective shield against yourself now, though. So what's quite interesting is that you've... It, this is... This is not something that's going to be coming back onto you. Okay. The Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles. You know, what's quite interesting here is that once whatever... It's weird. Once whatever happens to them, it feels like they may try to come back around and work on things with you. Like there's a... a like a... Getting out of a break mode, but... Whatever. Whatever you choose to do here, Leo. I see in general just more collaborations. 
better work environments here. We have five wands, fortune, five cups, star, which could be Aquarius, two of cups, nine of pentacles, trickster, six of pentacles. Um, I see you having a lot of good fortune coming into your life. And it really feels like you... I feel like you asked for this out of your emotions. Five of Cups. Like you're when you're really deep down in your emotions here. And that's why it feels like this is so strong. See a lot of your wishes coming true. I also see you receiving universal fit uh, assistance. <laughs> assistance. <laughs> um, I see your generosity of the past being rewarded here, Leo, and I also see you merging more into wisdom here. What I also feel like is that this person here, whatever their relationships are around them, or if they have a relationship or whatever, I see that. I, I don't know. I see. I don't see that really working a whole lot for them there. Five of Wands, Two of Cups, Trickster. There's going to be some tricks there. Deceptions. Trickster is Pisces. Aries, Gemini. Get the way. Also, also telling you, kind of be careful of the people around you as well. Child of Swords with the Dragon. Now, the Dragon can be the Chinese Zodiac sign. Now, the Dragon, Dragon can be Merlin's Dragon. Dragon can represent um, power, strength, good luck, prosperity, and supernatural powers. Child of Swords. So, I feel like you're emerging into this. You may be practicing this with your own power here, your supernatural powers, all that sort of stuff. Kind of like refining yourself here, Leo. You know, Knight of Cups, Child of Cups, Son of Swords. Queen of Cups, which could be Water, the Emperor, which could be Aries. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. I don't know why I keep losing track here. Strength. And it feels like you're ascending, you're moving forward, and it feels like you're really... You've unlocked this ability to really manifest through your heart space here. Child of Cups, Queen of Cups. Alright, Leo. The Emperor. Also, a big thing here, Leo, be careful of people trying to trick you as well. Um, but I see a lot of, like, you have a lot of portals opening up for you, and you have a lot of ascension happening here. You may be kind of unsure which direction to go, but I think you'll be fine here. Um, but I really see you emerging into your strength, your true power here. So you have an emperor here coming in to talk to you, but keep in mind when I say an emperor, that can be Ares. However... Doesn't always have to be someone on the living plane. You understand? It can be that someone on like the spiritual plane, like not in physical form. We have the wizard with the king of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is that wizard. You're being able to really manifest. I really feel like you have a spirit here coming in to talk to you and then bringing forth what you've asked for. You understand? We have the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Lightning, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Spider, be Scorpio, um, Ace of Pentacles, Death Card. Yeah, we have to be Scorpio here. You're having you're you're heavily having universal assistance, spiritual assistance, protection here. Spider can be like death, rebirth. We have a heavy um, theme on like transformation here with the death and the spider. It can be like creative projects here. Uh, what you've been working towards is coming into your life here. Okay. See emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness, a lot of newness, new beginnings, new forms of money. All obstacles here being removed here. Okay. With lightning being there. That's what you're manifesting. Five of Swords, Eight of Wands. There's some sort of communication coming through here. 
I see you being conflicted about it for some reason. Let's see. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, which could be like Taurus. We have Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, which could be Taurus and Capricorn. Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. Yeah, keep moving up ahead. It feels like you have a lot of spiritual gifts within inside yourself, but that is quite obvious here. Um, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, that could be, I feel like that could be, like, a mother or a father around you. I see a lot of success coming into your life, and it's going to be a lot bigger than you think. There could also be, like I said, there can also be, like, potential pregnancies or births in the future. So that is one thing to keep in mind here. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, birth, child. Maybe that is what you're a bit conflicted about here. But either way, let's get some ruins and some charms for yourself here. We have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey here. We have the white raven. The white raven represents peace, purification, protection, cleansing, all that sort of stuff here. Connecting with white raven. We have these dragon lovers here. So we have water and fire. So that tells me that you're... Well, we did see that in the beginning there. The king of cups. Now we have Aries. So yeah, I did feel like that. I feel like that's a spirit around you. Yeah, you're being protected here from hardship. And we're having a big breakthrough here in communication, which we did see that earlier. That was quite strange, Leo. I feel like what, whenever whenever this happens to this person here, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a big breakthrough in communication. Like, I see them coming back to communicate with you. Alright, and I also feel like this is their spirit I'm trying to talk to you as well. So... That is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also, go on my Etsy shop, go on and go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.